Today's episode is brought to you by Dice Dungeons. Check out the link in the description for a website full of RPG accessories. Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. Today I'd like to talk about the Empire of Chisenta and the creature known as Chazar, who was a red dragon that posed as a human warlord and became a god for a while. It's all very complicated. Chisenta is a collection of city-states more than a true kingdom. These cities are bound together by a common culture and mutual defense. This has changed since the Sundering, but let's start at the beginning. Chisenta was founded in negative 1771 DR as a province of the Untheric Empire. It wasn't until 929 that the city-states of Chisenta drove the armies of Unther away and became an independent nation. Ish. This rebellion was led by Chazar. Chazar was a red dragon who posed as a human warlord for the nation of Chisenta. Under this guise, he united the cities of Chisenta against the Untheric presence and was crowned king. Vain and power hungry, Chazar set up a temple to himself in an effort to achieve his goal of divinity. The Church of Chazar was born, and in 1018 DR, Chazar battled a raiding army of Sohagen. He left to face them alone, saying, Feast and take ease while I sharpen my sword once more. His body was never found because Jazar transformed back into his dragon self and destroyed the Sahagan single-handedly. He then sent visions of his victory to his followers which strengthened their belief and worship. This was crucial as he was not present to lead and guide the nation as king during his leave. Now we talk about Tiamat for a bit. During the time of Troubles, Tiamat was killed and her divinity was split into three parts. These pieces went to inhabit three chromatic dragons within Faerun, and Chazar was one of these dragons. Because of this divine spark and the fact that he was actively being worshipped by Chisentians, he finally ascended to godhood. However, this wasn't enough and Chazar went hunting for other pieces of Tiamat. He slew the other two chromatic dragons and took their divine sparks as well. Once reunited, an avatar of Tiamat appeared and devoured Chazar, returning Tiamat to her former glory and power. Why, I'm not sure, but Tiamat resurrected Chazar who flew to the city of Simbar and installed himself as ruler in 1373 DR. Although not official, Simbar was occasionally called the capital of Chisenta. The ruler was called a Septenar and was usually a wizard that had absolute authority over the land but was advised by a senate. Then the spell plague occurred and Chazar was hit by a wave of blue fire while traveling in the nearby mountains. He was accidentally thrown into the shadow there he was taken prisoner by a worm named Sealregoth, who fed on his essence for over a hundred years. This is detailed in the novel Whisper of Venom, so read that series of novels for more detailed story. Chazar was eventually rescued by some of his citizens of Chisenta. The Brotherhood of the Griffin discovered his whereabouts and went to free him. They were successful, and in 1479 DR, Chazar returned to Chisenta and claimed the kingdom as his own. To this day, Chazar claims himself to be a god, but he doesn't seem to wield any divine powers. Rather than a church, Chazar's followers were often referred to as the cult of Chazar. In Chisenta, other deities worshipped were Amonitar, who many saw Amonitar as an ancient Anthurian god, Hokatep, and thought this was the new guise he had taken. Tempest and Agma also had many followers. Also, another creature, an ancient primordial that had been sealed away by Lord Eo on Toril, was worshipped. His name was Entropy, and his symbol was a sphere of pure black, symbolizing his prison of a sphere of annihilation that he was trapped in for centuries. Entropy was freed during the spell plague, and I'm not entirely sure what his endgame is, but he is gifting his followers spells and nightmares. Entropy, after his escape from the Sphere of Annihilation, made his way to a region that became known as the Maw of God Swallower. The edges of the region crumble away and the sky is dark. There is a void at the center where the primordial entropy lives. Jacenta has a fierce warrior society and is over 80% human in population. Each city has their own form of government, but all seem to respect Chazar's position of power. Jacentia's people are often seen as drunk or riotous, but they simply feast and fight often, living in the moment and living it to its fullest potential. War hero is one of the greatest honors and titles a person can receive in Jacenta's society. Jacenta is home to to the Bay of Jacenta and broken mountain ranges cover its other fronts. The area is full of interesting geographical features including Adder Swamp, which is home to lycanthropes and contains a half-sunken city of were crocodiles, the Akanamiri, which is a large lake home to aquatic umber hulks, the Riders of the Sky, a mountain range home to pterodons, and finally Threskel, a dormant volcano home to a very old vampire green dragon. There are so many possible locations in Chisenta, and it's a good thing Dice Dungeons has you covered with their cloth RPG battle maps. They come in a variety of locations for use in your D&D game, from roadside campsites to cliffside caves, forests and river crossings, they're a quick way to lay down some terrain for an upcoming fight. It might be bandits in the mountains, or perhaps the cave of a rival dragon in the area. Be sure to use the promo code JORDAN with a PH in the middle for 10% off your 
your first order. Links in the description below. I'm imagining a game where Chazar assembles an adventuring team to destroy this vampire green dragon living in an abandoned volcano of Threskull. Now that Chazar is back, he is busy reunifying Chesentia, but needs this draconic threat removed. Adventurers have been summoned from all over Chesentia, the biggest war heroes of the nation. A cleric of Chazar, a wizard specializing in draconic research, a general in the last war, and an expert burglar to, you know, well, burgle. Thanks for watching everyone, and thank you for liking and sharing these videos with a friend. More videos next week, so be sure to subscribe.